the Russian occupation army group in Crimea is experiencing huge supply problems. This is due to the state of the Kirsch Bridge as well as the actual destruction of the ferry crossing. This opinion was expressed in an interview with Oboz Revatel media outlet by Ukrainian naval expert, research fellow at the National Military History Museum of Ukraine, retired Captain First Rank Vladimir Zablotsky. The enemy is forced to do something because its troops in Crimea are left without fuel, without ammunition, he noted. The expert recalled that the ferry crossing across the Kursk Strait is effectively blocked and the enemy has to take unprecedented measures to protect the Crimean bridge. At the same time, supplies by sea are associated with great dangers and the railway that the occupiers built from Rostov to the southeast of Ukraine does not reach Crimea. So the group in Crimea and other infrastructure remain on a starvation ration, Zablotsky stated. In this context, he emphasized that the enemy uses resources by the carload. Moreover, the Kirsch Bridge plays the main role in these large-scale deliveries. The bridge's railway is about the army. The occupation army fights with wagon rations, spends a huge amount of ammunition. In addition, they also need food to feed these little green men and everything else necessary, he said. A combination of Ukrainian ingenuity and Western-supplied long-range missiles is making the Russian occupation of Crimea increasingly untenable. The continued weakening of Russia's position on the Crimean Peninsula is a major blow to Kremlin prestige that also has potentially serious practical implications for the future of the war. In addition to steadily depleting Russia's defensive capacities, Ukraine also appears intent on isolating Crimea by targeting the Kremlin's logistical connections to the occupied peninsula. Ukrainian airstrikes damaged some rail ferries on the Crimean side of the Kursk Strait, putting them temporarily out of service. Ukraine's ferry service attack has reportedly forced Russia to resume the transportation of military supplies and fuel over the vulnerable Crimean bridge. Moscow has sought to protect the bridge from possible attack by deploying a series of barges in addition to extensive existing defenses. However, the apparent ease with which Ukraine has been able to hit Russian air defenses and logistical hubs throughout Crimea has led some to suggest that the destruction of the Crimean bridge may now only be a matter of time. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Poland's capital Warsaw on Thursday. He is expected to have meetings with Polish Foreign Minister Radosław Sikorski, President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Donald Tusk. Prior to his arrival in Warsaw, Blinken was in Kiev with UK Foreign Secretary David Lamy. The top diplomats traveled together to the Ukrainian capital on a rare joint tour to underscore their commitment to the country. Blinken announced more than $700 million in humanitarian aid, while Lamy confirmed that his country would provide another $782 million in assistance and loan guarantees. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and British Foreign Secretary David Lamy have arrived in Kiev on a joint visit as Ukraine presses the West to allow it to use long-range missiles against Russia. The top diplomats reached the Ukrainian capital on Wednesday hours after the U.S. presidential debate during which Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump sparred over the two-and-a-half-year war in Ukraine. Blinken traveled from London, where he accused Iran of providing Russia with FATH, 360 short-range ballistic missiles, calling the move a dramatic escalation of Russia's military campaign. For months, Ukraine has been requesting approval to use long-range weapons from the United States and Western allies to strike targets in Russia, and is expected to press harder given Russia's latest reported weapons acquisition. Wednesday's visit comes ahead of British Prime Minister Keir Starmer's upcoming trip to Washington, where he will meet President Joe Biden at the White House on Friday. 
Russian airstrikes, mostly aimed at crippling Ukraine's energy infrastructure, have intensified in recent weeks with nightly missile and drone attacks.